anybody is like offended by uh this topic just 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 uh move along to the next video omicron uh you when you got sick COVID, you reached out to Joe Rogan for advice on, on what to do. Uh, I was wondering what your thoughts were with the 200 plus doctors trying to put pressure on Spotify saying that Joe's a menace to... Are they really? Yeah. Well, how about this? Ever since I came out and said what I did, it's almost impossible now to get monoclonal antibodies. They're like, they're, 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 they're making it so you can't get them. You know, medicine that absolutely works, they're... they're, they're keeping from us. I don't want to get too political and start getting into all this shit, but... That is the truth. My pops got a uh, C-19 and he went in and wanted to get uh, the monoclonal antibodies and we called up treatment centers and they said, we absolutely do not have them in stock, so we cannot absolutely help you. And when he went to the doctors, we asked, what can we do when you get C-19? And... The doctor said, just take vitamins, and that's it. And he's like, vitamins, that's it. And they go, that's all you can take. So they're, so waiting in line for hours to get tested, to get told, all you can do is take vitamins, is stupid. If, the, if they have medicine like this that absolutely works, they need to inform the public. Because a lot of people don't know about this. And a lot of people that might, not, might have been not hospitalized because of something like this. They might have been absolutely feeling better because they would have got the medicine they deserve right and he's saying it's true monoclonal antibodies is like the hardest thing to get now and aaron Rodgers took it joe rogan took it i think uh a few uh other comedians have taken it and um they've all recovered from the monoclonal antibodies the governor of florida ron DeSantis, has pushed it as a uh, treatment option. They say if you get COVID within the first three to four days, you need to go get it. Ivermectin and, and monoclonal antibodies have been around for a long time. Now all of a sudden you can't you can't dig them up to save your life. The doctors won't give them to you, you know. And e again, the doctors won't give it to you. My pops went to the hospital and he said, "Hey, can I get this treatment?" They looked at him like he was some conspiracy nut. Like we don't offer that. We never heard of that. And then the lady at the hospital goes, "We don't give a medical. We don't give medical advice out." He goes, "Excuse me, you're a hospital." And they go, "Ha ha ha! ha. Just take some uh, over-the-counter vitamins." So because my pops couldn't get that medication, he went to the store to like Walgreens, CVS, and got all the cold medicine he could take, and just started pumping his body through it. Because at the end of the day, when you're told, basically. Unless your symptoms get worse, go to the hospital. Unless your oxygen level goes a certain le level low. Unless your uh, fever goes too high, then we can't do nothing. So until then, vitamins or whatever medications, home remedies you can come up with. Even when I did it, when I did it h h here in Vegas, which was however many weeks ago that I had it, like right before Christmas, I think, or something, um... Yeah, I made one phone call and was able to get to get it done. And that's not like some fucking rich, famous guy shit. Like anybody could have could have called and, and you know, because that's what everybody always throws at me. Yeah, of course you can fucking make a phone call and get it. Bullshit. Everybody could have got it back then. Um, you know, Lene had it. Lene did monoclonal antibodies and di did all that stuff. Everybody could get it. Now, and you know, Rogan's been talking about it. Then I went crazy talking about it. You can't get those things to save your life. Are you are you surprised at the backlash that? People don't even want to allow you to discuss options and pretreatment. It's it's disgusting. It's disgusting. Again, that is the one hundred percent truth. It's because you're saying only take one thing to get better and not the other. More people, I think, would be less hospitalized if they realize what other treatment options there are. Why don't the news say, "Hey, taking monoclonal antibodies would help. Taking this would actually help." Like, I remember talking to people on Facebook when they got sick with COVID. This was probably like July or August. And I said, what are you doing for COVID? And they go, nothing. The doctor told me to do nothing. And I was like, no vitamins, no supplements, no nothing. And they go, I didn't even know about that. And now that people do know about it, 
they're taking Alter Barry, they're taking all these other options. One of the craziest things that I've ever witnessed in my life, mm-hmm. you know, and you're, we're, we're talk, I'm not talking about um, experimental drugs or things that you this stuff's been around. I mean, the guy, the ivermectin, the guy, won, doctor? the guy won the Nobel Peace Prize. No, right? but there's plenty See? of doctors there you go. that do. Uh, yeah, here he comes. <laughs> I just asked a question. He's probably the guy that has announced that, are you a doctor? He's probably pro jab and only jab are you a doctor no but i but i but i took them and they both work for me so why shouldn't i be able to take them again again if a treatment works for you let's say you do a cancer treatment or you do something or you break your kneecap and you do something and it and it helps you why shouldn't you be able to tell people like hey i did this it might help you or other people I won't answer. No, no, come on, dive in. Do you just hear that guy? He says, are you a doctor? And then when Dana White says, why can't other people take it? Or he just goes, oh, uh-huh, never mind. Because he doesn't want to engage. But I, but, I, but I took them and they both work for me, so why shouldn't I be able to take them again? Or other people? I won't answer. No, I won't no, come on, dive in. We, we do have a but brain why shouldn't to we be able make to take our own decisions. Right? You, you want to know what's scary? I bet I could get some fucking pain pills quicker than I could get monoclonal antibodies. No, not maybe. That's a fact. That's a fact. They fucking hand out pain pills like they like they're Tic Tacs. I hear you. But, but they keep doing. But, but you can. Monoclonal antibodies and, and ivermectin isn't going to do anything to you. Pain pills kill you. Fa- pain pills. Easily, if I went to the doctor and got a pain pill for my kneecap hurting or my back hurting, they would give it to you quickly. They're not going to recommend, hey, maybe smoking some weed would help. They don't even offer that. Monoclonal antibodies and, and ivermectin isn't going to do anything to you. Pain pills kill you. Fact. And I'm not a doctor, but that's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> this holiday season, when shop able to get, to get it done, and that's not like some... So again, that is my take on it, and I will see you guys in the next one.